Sadly, the president did not get to go to Florida this weekend. He had to stay back to give the commencement speech at Liberty University on Saturday, where he inspired graduates by marveling at the size of the crowds he's able to draw. This is a beautiful stadium, and it is packed. I'm so happy about that. I said, how are you going to fill up a place like that? It is packed, Jerry. Jerry's his imaginary friend. He's... Uh... Donald Trump is the only person who could show up at an event where families come to see their children graduate and assume the crowd is there to see him. President Trump gave a commencement speech at Liberty University on Saturday, and he said, quote, always have the courage to be yourself and chase your dreams. Then he stopped talking because he ran out of fortune cookies. And he just kept sitting. 39-year-old Emmanuel Macron became the youngest president in French history. Yeah. You could tell he's young because after they swore him in, his first words in his speech were, so that just happened. <laughs> President Trump this weekend gave the commencement speech at Liberty University, while yet again the commencement speech at Trump University was given by a raccoon that wandered on stage. <laughs> the New York Yankees this weekend retired Derek Jeter's number, but a lot of women still have it. According to the Social Security Administration, the fastest growing boy's name in 2016 was Kylo, after Kylo Ren, the main villain in the Star Wars film, The Force Awakens. I know, I guess villains are popular right now, which means a year from now, the hot new baby name is gonna be Donald.